Hi everyone, it's Keyless Entry. Uh, today I have another challenge lock. Uh, this one is called Old Diamondback Sturgeon by Lock Affinity, and it's his number one challenge lock. So first build. So we've got a Sergeant Key, Sergeant Mortar Cylinder. Key is mummified, as you can see, and um, got a nice keyway there. Uh, similar to a C4 sort of thing to our Aussie C4. Um, yeah, just a nice solid bit of brass. Cool. All right, let's get into the vise and give it a pick. So I don't think I've picked this one before. Um, just looking at the top of the keyway here. Um, not sure if you can pick that up. You can see it sort of changes um, thickness in to the top of the keyway where the bitting is on the key. So that's yeah, I haven't seen that before. That's really, really cool. All right. <clears throat> oh, this has got one of those big cams on the back. Um, I might mount it in the middle like that and see. Yeah, that will be fine, I think. Alrighty. So, old Diamondback Sturgeon. Okay. So let's give it a pick. So, oh yeah, that's um thought. Oh, that fits in there, 1.2. It's a bit worried it might not fit, but it does fit very nicely. Nice core control. Not very much slop at all. All that, very, very nice. All right, let's give it a puck. So starting off with the very, very short hook. And one is binding off the bat. Click there. Another click. That feels set. Oh, give me a counter. I might leave it for now. One and two. Okay, just touch two. Bit of a false set. Counter on two. Oh, there we go. It's a nice movement. Two. Three. Counter on three. I feel like something got overset there. Yeah, I definitely overset something there. Two or three. Yeah, definitely. Okay, let's try again. I'm not going to push one up any higher. Two. Okay, three is binding. Three. Four. Oh, got a nice set now. Five down the back, doesn't want to do anything. I'm going to change picks in a second. It's quite a tall keyway. Working off that ledge. One feels good. Two. Three. Okay, I felt counter rotation from two. So I'll go with that. I thought I overset it last time. Ooh, a lot of pins drop then. Whoa, whole bunch. One, two. That's three. Okay, four is binding. Five is binding. Oh, got him, I think. Ah, there we go. Nice. Alrighty. So he's open. Alright, let me get my gutting stuff out. Alright, so it didn't fall into, uh, I don't think there's many spools in here. It didn't fall into like a lot of false sets and that sort of thing. It felt like more serrated pins. Alright, so tailpiece. Screwdriver, it's got a flat head. Um, grab this one here, yeah, should do it. Yep, oh, a little bit tight. Okay, chunky brass tailpiece. I love these old school. Mortar cylinders uh, with a chunky tail tail piece. I don't know why. It's just I just think they're really really cool. All right. So yeah, we don't get many mortar cylinders in Australia because uh, most of our mortar locks took ovals. So um, I do have a couple of Lockwood ones, maybe one. Um, but yeah, you don't really see them in Australia that much. 
Okay, so there's the uh, bitting, so to speak. Can't see any plug mods. Five pinner. Okay, go standard. Another standard. Oh, very long keeping on that one. Jeez. And five. So yes, no plug mods. Uh, I'll just check it, but I don't think there are any. No, all stock standard. Okay, let's get these drivers out. Uh, probably get the shim out first, that will help. Okay, so the first one just broke the shoe line. It's so not a very, very powerful spring. A nice serrated. Got the custom serrated. Yeah, a little spring, look at that. Okay, and we've got a mushroom pin. I haven't seen one of those for a while. That one looks like a um, commercial one, maybe? But no, maybe not. And a three just broke the shear line as well. Got a nice ball, the serrated top. Oh, look at that. Even smaller spring. It almost looks like a bylock spring. <laughs> Uh, let's get this oriented the right way. Okay, so we've got another one of those serrated spool things. Like an upside down version of number three. That did come out that way. Yeah, it did. Interesting. Another little spring. And number four. Oh, okay. Very, very nice serrated spool things. Well, I'm not sure what to call them. Oh, that spring. Did that pop out somewhere? I swear spring four didn't come out. Um, hopefully there's one in there. Unless there isn't. Duh, there he is. He was just stuck in there. Yeah, very, very tight. Oh, he's, yeah, it's been caught up on something there. So, um, yeah, I'll try try to fix that. Okay, so, bottle chamber mods. No, they're all clean, and so is the plug. So, no mods to the cylinder. It's all in the pins. I'll just bring these up to the camera. So you can see them a little bit better. So these keepins, um, got a very rounded bottom. They don't have, have that traditional sort of pointy end. As you can see, they're very, very rounded. Um, so all standard, as you can see, some very tall ones here, especially number three and five. Um, got some custom drivers here. Very nice serrations on that one. As you can see there, got a mushroom style looking pin. That could be a commercial Sparrows one maybe, or might be homemade, I'm not too sure, but yeah, very, very nice. And we've got this spool thing here, that's really, really cool. A really sort of short, deep spool. Some serrations on top. Um, same sort of deal, but with, um, with some serrations on the bottom. So serrations on both ends. And then number five, we've got sort of the upside down version of number three. So yeah, that would have acted this way up. So that would have uh, acted like a serrated, this would have acted more like a spool. Serrated spool, yeah. Alrighty, guys, uh, that was old. Hold on, I need to get the tag. <laughs> that was old diamond sturgeon. Oh, sorry, old diamond back sturgeon by Lock Affinity, and that was his first challenge lock. Probably a lot better than my first challenge lock, mate. So, well done. Uh, I'll see everyone next time. Take care.